Welcome back to the channel and I'm going to do something I haven't done in a long time and that is rip a whole entire box. And for today's video I've chosen a 1992 Dunruss Series 2. You see I'm opening up, it's been sealed. Just get the wax off of it. So there's a lot of uh, chasers in this, in this box, this Series 2 set. There is the bonus MVP Cy Young's and Rookie of the Year cards. There is um, Diamond Kings such as Randy Johnson and Fred McGriff. There is the Elite Series, 10,000 copies. Um, looking for players such as Ken Griffey Jr., Tony Gwynn, Frank Thomas. There's also the chance to get the Legend Series, Ricky Henderson. That one is numbered out of 7,500. There's the Cal Ripken Signature Series, an autograph out of 500. There's the Pat Mahomes Rated Rookie, rookie Card. And last but not least, I saw that the Kenny Lofton Rated Rookie in the update, uh, update number six, is a pretty rare card and valuable card. So maybe I'll be lucky and find myself one of those. So let's get started with the first pack. Obviously I'll be putting aside any, oh my goodness, it's gonna be hard to open up. I'll put aside any Hall of Famers that I come across or any other special cards. Here is the first pack. We've got Toronto Blue Jays, Manny Lee, I'll try not to take too long in this video. Jerome Walton, there's Juan Guzman. That uh, doesn't say rated rookie. I'm not too sure if it is his rookie card or not. It could be. There's a highlights card of Wilson Alvarez. His uh, threw a no-hitter in his second career start, 1991. Albert Bell and Spike Owen, and I love those uniforms. Aren't those something? Those Expos uniforms. All right, second pack. I'm gonna probably use my scissors to cut all of these open. And I hope I just, uh, Mike Sharpinson. All right, he took a little hit there with the scissors. I gotta be more careful. Tom Candinati, there's John Jaha, rated rookie. I'll put that aside. Francisco Cabrera, he, uh, Obviously had that very important hit in the National League Championship Series way back in 91 or 92. There's Eric Davis. And Carlos Martinez ends that pack. Two packs down, 34 to go. Make sure I don't accidentally cut the top of another card off. We've got Joe Hesketh. There is a highlights card. Rich Gossage and Nolan Ryan. 308 saves and 308 wins. Card number 555. I guess they both did it on the same day. So I'll keep that over there. That's a keeper. Mike Jackson, Jeff Shaw, Jim Cott, a bunch of relievers. There we go, there's a hit. Jim Tomei, rated rookie. Nice looking card. James Howard Tomei, card number 406. Awesome. Might actually uh, put that in a sleeve if I can get a sleeve out. That's a card I'll keep. I'm sure I've got this card already, but probably only just maybe one or two of this. Tommy rookie card. There we go. Put them over to the side. That's three packs down. Next pack. So, so far I'm doing pretty good, I think. I got one key rookie card, a highlight card, and John Jaha as well. Pack number four, Danny Tartable, Bruce Ruffin, Paul Sorrento, there we go. Hi, uh, another, uh, this is one of those bonus cards. It's the Cy Young Award winner, Tom Glavin. 
BC4. I think there is six or eight cards in this set. Might just be six. Might just be the MVP, Cy Youngs, and Rookies of the Year. So that's a keeper. Steve Sachs, Dave Martinez, Joe Carter highlights card. I'll keep that because he's a Blue Jay, or was back then. There's Ted Wood, who I thought, like many thought, was going to be a, a very good contact hitter, like, uh, I don't know, like a, a mini Wade Boggs. Denny Martinez, El Presidente, El Perfecto for Les, Ex Les Expos. Next pack. Here we go. Dan Plezak, Tino Martinez. There's another rated rookie card. Gene Nelson, Dave Weathers. Another rated rookie, Charlie O'Brien. Dave Steeb, one of the best pitchers in the 1980s. Didn't win a Cy Young. Danny Tartable, I think that's the second time. And second time for maybe Plezak. Getting some copies now, already into the four packs, five packs. This will be pack number six. And we're gonna start off with Lloyd Mosby, Tigers, Ozzie Smith. Keep him over the side. Wally Backman, Terry Leach. Mike Maddox, and Rod Beck to end that pack. I bought a few of these packs when I was young, a youngster, but I was actually not that young. I was heading off to university, so I had much more things to save up for than baseball cards. Oh, there's Frank Thomas. The second year card, I think. Nope, third year card, Frank Thomas. Jeff Juden, Rich Gedman, The Strawberry. What is uh, the face on Walt Terrell? Looks pretty angry throwing that pitch. Kevin Seitzer, Bobby Bonilla. Must be an all-star card or something. Why would it say down here, Pirates designated hitter when the National League didn't have designated hitters unless he was the DH in the All-Star game in an American League ballpark. That's my guess for that. Trying to work that out in my head. There's another copy of the Gossage Ryan highlights. And Dave Howard. Next pack. And here we go. Gene Larkin. Kevin Batiste, rated rookie. Charlie Hayes. There's Tony Gwynn, all-star card, because it's got the National League logo up there. Gary Varsho, who would be Dalton Varsho's father on the Blue Jays, who's not doing very well. Like I'm regretting that, that trade. Like I was regretting it probably two months ago. And we have a Diamond King. And the Diamond King is going to be, hopefully, Randy Johnson or Fred McGriff. It's going to be Harold Baines, though. Well, that's good. Hall of Famer. We got something. There we go. Took it off. There we go. Nice Harold Baines Diamond Kings card. I'm going to put that in a sleeve. Because I think these cards are prone to a little bit of chipping. These Diamond Kings. Because they don't have the white border. I'm going to put him up there. I should have really have uh, maybe organized this a bit better. But on to the next pack. We've got a lot of packs to go through. Don't want to make this too long of a video. We have our first checklist. Dwight Evans. Keith Mitchell. Mo Vaughn. Nice. Greg Maddox. Hall of Famer. Mark Langston. Billy Hatcher, Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer, 
Another checklist. Oh my goodness. Two checklists in the same pack. Would have not liked that. There's Tony Gwynn though. We're doing really well. Three Hall of Famers. Three Hall of Famers and two checklists in the same pack. Plus Mo Vaughn. So back in the day, Mo Vaughn would have been a nice card to have because he was projecting to be a prolific uh, slugger, which he was, but really didn't get to the 500 home run mark, which he needed to do. Next pack, we're going to start off with Joe Hesketh, Eric Plunk. Oh, we've got some cards upside down. Jim Cott. Oh, again, Mickey Morandini. Jeff Nelson, rated rookie. Kirby Puckett. Love Kirby. Gerald Perry, Omar Vizcal. And the last card is the Candyman, Candy Maldonado. So you can tell me what card in this series or this set is your favorite, 1992, or if you have any of those Elite Series cards or Ricky Henderson Legend Series, or goodness gracious, if you have a Cal Ripken Signature Series card, that'd be awesome. Say so in the comments, maybe post a picture of it if you can. There's a Reggie Sanders, rated rookie, Julio Franco, what a great name, Skeeter. Skeeter Barnes. Hensley Mullins didn't work out, unfortunately, for the Yankees and for him. He had an okay career, but, you know, he was, again, a highly touted rookie. He had a couple good years, I believe. I don't think they were for the, for the Yankees. Though. They moved on from him. We got... Mark Leiter, Al Leiter's brother, John Wetland. Here we have three make no hit history. Pena, Merker, and Woolers of the Atlanta Braves. That's quite neat. I'll keep that over to the side. Never seen that card before. Didn't know that was going to be in this set. There's Tony Gwynn, another card of his. We have another Diamond King coming up. Candiotti, Jaha. Kurt Young, Orsalak, and it's going to be this way. And let's go from the top. San Diego is going to be, is it Fred McGriff? It is Fred McGriff. Awesome. He'll be indicted into the Hall of Fame, I think, this weekend. This weekend or next weekend, along with Scott Rowland. Very stoked to get a Fred McGriff Diamond King. Sweet, sweet looking card. Love those Diamond Kings in this in this set. 1992. All right. Moving right along. I think I'm doing pretty well. Like to get the Pat Mahomes or the Kenny Lofton though. That would be nice. Glenn Allen Hill, former Blue Jay, Chris Gwynn. Brother of Tony, Steve Fry, love that uniform. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the old Expos uniforms too. And would you like to see the Expos come back in some fashion? Yeah, maybe another expansion team or a team moving away and moving to Montreal. Of course, there was talk a couple years ago about the Rays doing that, or the Rays playing half their games in Montreal, like the summer months. I actually like that idea. That was pretty cool. It's one way to keep the Rays in Tampa, but also bring baseball back for the fans up in Montreal. All right, moving right along. Mo Sanford, another highly touted rookie back in the day. Ron Darling, John Vanderwall. Danny Tartable, Dave Hollins, Tom Glavin, Cy Young Award winner, and Scott Service ends that pack. Just gotta move my pile over so I don't knock it over with my my elbow. I actually don't mind ripping these packs with a pair of scissors. You know, at least let's see if I can. There we go. 
Oh, one of my favorites on the back. If you saw him, you did. There's Tony Gwynn, all-star card, Storm Davis. Kevin Batiste again. Milt Thompson, Tracy Jones, Jose Hernandez, and Rance Mullenix. Yes, I said one of my favorite Blue Jays. Don't know why. Always a good contact hitter. You know, I know uh, the pass is alive. Makes fun of him from time to time when he pulls his card, but I like Rance. And he was also a color commentator for many years on Blue Jays broadcasts. And uh, yeah, takes me back to the 1980s when I first started watching baseball. All right, next pack, Vaughn Hayes. Speaking of the pass is alive. Don Mattingly, current Blue Jays bench coach. Daryl Boston. Oh, there it is. Pat Mahomes. Pat Mahomes rookie card. The father of Pat Patrick Mahomes II. And if you are watching his uh, the, the quarterback series on the Netflix channel or streaming service, you uh, I got to the episode last night where his uh his son was born was it patrick bronze or patrick mahomes the third they nickname him bronze so unfortunately there's a little speck here on the card but you know besides that the card looks good put that over there in the special pile all right and we're going to finish off with Derek bell Dave Fleming, and Scott Brocious, who actually, I think, went to the Yankees uh, when the Yankees uh, got rid of Muslins, Hensley Muslins, I believe. That's my guess. I could be wrong on that. Totally wrong, but... All right, next pack. My microphone's about to fall off the table. There's Mo Vaughn again. Greg Maddox again. This might be a similar pack to the one we had a little while ago. There's Andre though. Andre Dawson. That's a new card. Ben McDonald. John Smoltz. And Kurt Mannering with that unusual New York Giants uniform on for throwback. A throwback day at the ballpark back in 1990. One, I guess, from these photos might have been taken. Might have been 92. Next pack. Bobby Bonilla. Kevin Mitchell. And no one important enough in that pack. Next one. Oh, we got ourselves a rated rookie in the back. Jeff Frasaro. Arthur Rhodes. He had a long career. Finished off with, uh, I think, in the second last year with the Blue Jays in 2015. Well, he came, uh, came to the Blue Jays at the trade deadline and helped the Jays propel them to... The pennant. Might have been a wild card, actually. Can't quite remember. Oh, it's Archie Corbin. Never heard of him. Dot Gooden. Jeff King. Royce Clayton. Tony Gwynn. And Oil Can Boyd. Finishes that pack. I'd say we're probably at the halfway point. Maybe just a little bit past it. They got Don Mattingly again, Donnie Baseball. Move my light maybe a little bit. Or was it fine where it was? Pat Mahomes again. That's twice. This one does also has a little speck. Maybe they all were printed 
with a little speck there beside his head under the rated rookie. So that's two Patrick Mahomes in one box. Derek Bell, Dave Fleming again. You know what? I'd do. I'll be okay with another two or three Pat Mahomes rookie cards. They're desirable. Well, much more so now that his son is a star in the NFL. I mean, six or seven years ago, his card was, you know, a quarter card or ten cent card. Benny Santiago, Roger Clemens. There's another one of those bonus cards I was talking about. Arthur Rhodes, again, and Mike Sims. All right, let's keep going. This is actually turning out to be quite the fun rip. I mean, it is fun looking for these chase cards, although I'm not keen on buying, uh, there's Kurt Schilling, I'm not keen on buying two, three, four hundred dollar boxes nowadays. Jeff Bagwell, rookie of the year card. It's not his rookie card, but it's pretty close. Did I miss a card? Nope. Tino Martinez also went to the Yankees in the dynasty that they had. Jarvis Brown ends that pack. Got to move some of these cards over again. The pile is stacking up really fast, really high. I think I would probably, well, maybe I should wait till the end of the video, buy this again. I mean, you get a lot of no names, like like first three names here. Wapnick, Rosario Rodriguez, and Jim Linden. And I remember, vaguely remember him, you know, not much of a career. There's Dave Steeb again, checklist. Sammy Sosa, first time pulling his card. And that's it. Sammy Sosa and Dave Steve were the best cards in that pack. Of course, being a Jays fan, I'll take the Dave Steve. Oh, Diamond King. I'll take the Dave Steve over Sammy Sosa any day. Save that Diamond King for the end. There's David Wells, Boomer, Mike Mucina. Keep his card. Jim Clancy, former Blue Jay. Ramon R Martinez, Sean Barry, Sandberg, and let's just take a look. I think it's this way. Diamond King number 27. I have no idea who that is, who that would be. Hope it's not the checklist. It is the checklist. There you have it. Diamond King's checklist, and who is that? That's got to be the artist. Artist, yes, Dick Perez, the artist. So, props to Dick Perez for doing really a fantastic job on those drawings, paintings, or whatever you want to call them, illustrations, because they do look amazing. I wonder what he's doing nowadays, Dick Perez. Do they still do the Diamond King's? In the modern packs, I don't know. I haven't seen them anyways. I haven't come across. There's Rance again, Jose Canseco, Dwight Evans. Not too much going on in that pack. Speaking of Blue Jays, I haven't seen, I haven't seen a, maybe he's not in this set, a Tony Fernandez yet. I haven't seen a Tony. There's a Florida Marlins card. They also have one for the, the Colorado Rockies. So that's pretty neat. I'm gonna put that aside. I'm not really too sure why, but perhaps they're collectible. Billy Ripken. Dave Otto, Benny Santiago, another Clemens. Chuck Knobloch, and that's about it for that pack. Getting down 
Won't be long till I'm done. I have not come across an Elite Series or a Legend Series, Ricky Henderson or a Cal Ripken. I don't expect to, but you can always dream. You can always hope. One sec. There we go. Rob Ducey, Toronto boy. Juan Bell, which is George Bell's brother. Dave Valley. And not so much going on in that pack. You get that. You get, I guess you call them duds packs from time to time. Where there's actually no one worth keeping or saving unless you're collecting the whole set. All right. We've got here... Mike Huff, Mike Jackson, two mics in a row. Another Jim Tomey, sweet. Jim Tomey, Jim Tomey, let's put him in a penny sleeve. There we go. Terry Shumpert, Vaughn Hayes, and Bob Patterson. Last stack. Oh, another Diamond King. Try not to look at the name. Keep that for the surprise. We can start with Atlanta Catcher, Phil Plantier, Chris Sabo, Eric Davis. Turn it upside down. Royce Clayton, Jeff King, Scott Erickson, Ricky Jordan, and the Diamond King this time is going to be Prince Fielder. Oh no, Tony Phillips. Tony Phillips. I saw the Tigers logo on the helmet. I thought that's got to be the not Prince, Cecil Fielder. It's got to be Cecil Fielder in it. Turns out to be Tony Phillips. Neither of which made the Hall of Fame, which is fine. Tony Phillips, though, had a great career. I mean, he actually had a pretty lengthy career as well, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Let's see what this pack has in store. We've got Expo on the top, Joe Carter, Dennis Martinez, Kurt Schilling, Hector Fajardo, and Howard Farmer at, oh, we Expo at the beginning, and I'm sure we had Expo in the middle and an Expo at the end. So, for the Expos fans out there, hope you like that pack. Howard Farmer, he was a, a top prospect for the Expos, but I mean, I don't think he pitched more than like 10 or 20 games in the big leagues, I think. Andre Dawson, all-star card, Ben McDonald, John Smoltz. Didn't want to bypass him too much. Bo Jackson, I'll keep his card. Danny Wilson, Ozzy Smith, and Tim Cruz to finish that pack. We got four packs to go. I haven't got really a big chase card, if you like. I have these cards sitting here. I don't know why they were sitting there, but they were sitting there. Maybe I put them down when I was slowly revealing the Diamond King or something. Tom Glavin starts us off in this pack. Very nice. Matt Young, Rick Sutcliffe. Another checklist card. Tommy Glavin. All-star card. So that's two Glavins in a row there. Dion Sanders. Very nice. Ryan Sandberg. 
what did I just do? I didn't mean to put Scott Cooper in there. All right, third last pack. All right, got to start blowing on these cards and these packs for good luck. I don't know what I would do if I found one of those chase cards. Might scream. Hopefully not too loud. I wouldn't faint. There's Terry Pendleton. There's another one of those bonus cards. Pascal Perez. Pat Henkin. There's the Rockies card. So I've got the, floor, the Marlins and the Rockies special insert card for their inaugural seasons. Now I went to look at a couple boxes of cards on Marketplace and the seller said vintage sports cards, $200, no picture. I asked her if there was any baseball and she said yes. So I drove, it wasn't too far of a drive, I drove all the way to her house Took a look at the box, went through it, and on, on the way there, I was thinking, oh, wouldn't it be great to have a mantle, pull a mantle or something from this purchase? And it happened to be like Dunris and other early 90s and late 80s baseball and hockey cards, so nothing worth nothing worth what she was asking for. And I told her it was like maybe $20 here worth of cards, and uh, yeah, not 200 There's John Jaha, I already pulled him once twice I think so yeah sometimes you think about finding the biggie the big card I think we all probably do that what it would like feel like to pull a big card like that now nowadays it's going to be like a numbered autograph one of one or something but uh, I'm not going to be chasing those cards by buying expensive boxes and packs all right, last pack, last chance. Here we go. Brooke Jacob. Oh, we got something in the middle. Or is it just a shadow? Oh, freaked me out. Just a shadow. Because <laughs> all the Diamond Kings have been in the back. So I, obviously I thought something in the middle. Brooke Jacoby, Doug Jones, Checklist, Anthony Telford, Tom Glavin, Matt Young, I think we've had this pack already. It's like a repeat. Checklist. Tom Glavin. Is it Scott Cooper? No. Nope. Cheeto Martinez. So there's my rip. I'm just going to show you, I guess, the, the key cards that I got. I've got uh, a couple of... Uh, I got the Diamond King there. Tony Phillips. I got... Jim Tomei, rated rookie. I got Patrick Mahomes, two rated rookies. And this is another Diamond King. I wonder why if it's, yeah. Fred McGriff, I was just wondering if a different color meant something, but probably not. Harold Baines, and another Jim Tomei. And a whole stack here of other Hall of Fame cards and non Hall of Famers like Don Mattingly and, uh, some highlight cards and that's about it so thanks for watching my rip here hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did and uh subscribe if you haven't and have yourself a great 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 week and weekend i'm off to the national the following weekend so uh hopefully i'll put one more video out before then if not i'll do a recap when i come back from the national thanks y'all